when people ask me, where are you from? My tongue struggles to root back to a distinct taste, a native accent, a home. I usually tell them both my parents are Jamaican. I was born in the Bronx, went to school in Jamaica until I was three, moved back to New York, and I've been living in Texas since I was seven. I realized I am more roadmap than tradition. Geography has made such a melting pot out of me. I am more nomad than immigrant. I've been clicking my heels for as long as I can remember, mistaking these spangled stars for navigation for so long. I treat my parents' house as nothing more than a checkpoint. Can you come back home if you never truly felt at home to begin with? When people ask me, where are you from? I want to speak of the russet dirt roads leading to my grandmother's house on Homewood Hill in Manchester, Jamaica, the acres of land filled with archives of vegetables manicured by her hands, the comfort she cooked in the kitchen, how each dumpling coated the tongue with a familiar past, the gospel in her voice that would endure the hurricanes even after the zinc roof and all hope had been lost. But I feel more imposter than proud, allowing my identity to fall through the cracks of my mother's contradictions. You're not really Jamaican, she says. This was my first culture shock underneath the family tree. People who are born there take great offense to foreigners claiming their homeland. The mark of the outlier feels like the cut of the umbilical cord. Sounds like the pledge of allegiance, embarrassing the pride I thought was mine to inherit, eroding everything I thought was culture. I want to call Jamaica home, but I am too vantage point, too infrequent of a flyer. I didn't know a birth certificate could also be a border. Do you know what it is like to practice an accent in the mirror before family gatherings? Trying to shape shift your way into any form of acceptance, knowing that I will still be seen as a tourist as a welcome home mat in a souvenir shop, what is left for children born out of assimilation whose heritage is reduced to a shelf on an international grocery aisle where we realize that even melting pots have strict recipes, leaving timelines of people erased by a right to remain silent and a paradox of a freedom to be brainwashed into foster care. On the days I feel more identity crisis than family member, I ask myself, where am I from? A desert of forgotten roots or foreign soil. To find nourishment is to find home. I'm ashamed to be a son who continues to make ash of his ancestors. Thank you. So.